So for some time now, people have been asking me, Chukuka, why don't you do poetry for me? <laughs> I'm like, Omo, nobody ever said what I go do. Is everything I'll do. For example, now, right now, I'm into good farming. I'm into pig farming, and I'm into cattle farming. You know, once I lost the point that you cannot be jack of all trades and be master of none. I know that you should be master of one and not jack of all trades. Because at the end of the day, whatever industry anybody chooses to be in, the most important thing is that you try to make a mark in that industry. If you are into good farming, some people do see, I'm not saying, I'm not saying doing integrated farming is bad. I know people who do fish, cattle, pig, turkey, in one farm. Like there's this farm I know in River State. I've, I've been to the farm before. This woman basically has all the animals you can think of. In one farm, she has goats, she has pigs, she has cattle, she has sheep, she has turkey, she has uh, chicken, she has rabbits, she has grass cutter, she has, uh, I think she has a uh, ostrich. She has uh, like 10 animals. I'm like, uh -uh. Madam, how do you manage to keep tabs on all these things? How do you manage to learn medication for each one? She, she, she'll be like, it's not me that do it to have people that, you know, medicate them. I have people that run different uh, uh, size of the farm. And I'm like, no wonder. But for someone who is, you know, getting to pick, uh, getting to farming newly, life to farming newly, I won't advise you going to many at once. Rather, you can take it step by step. You get into goat farming, from goat farming, you get into cattle, from cattle, you get into pig, from pig, you get into chicken, from chicken, you get into sheep, however you want to do it. But me personally, I don't even see myself moving away from this tree or getting into new... But, you know, things can change in the, in the future. Let me not say what I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure of, I'm not really certain about. But me personally, the reason why I'm into goat farming, I'm into cattle farming, and, and I'm into pig farming is because I'm the kind of person, is how my life is, I'm the kind of person that I love to see because I'm doing this farming mostly because of the passion. Mostly because of, of the passion for it. But in fact, the first farming business I did, the first livestock business I did was poultry. Back in 2000, and, uh, back when I was eight years. I was eight years old then. I started a small poultry, which I think should be 30 best then. That was my first business, the first farming business. If I started planting, I used one of our family, uh, family lands one acre. After that poultry farm, I stopped that poultry farm. I was like, it's, it's not for me. And I, and I used one of our one, one of, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm speaking nonsense. And I used one of our one acres uh, to plant yam. The yam went well, but I was like, ah, this yam is not for me. After I see, I've tried many things in this life. Oh. And I planted granite here in the southeast. It did well, but you know, somebody is going to school. That, back then I, I was in secondary school and I was living in, in, in the school. It's only during holidays I would come back. So at some point, I, I just left the whole farming thing. It was not when I had like, a hard time that I, and I went venturing into it, into, it, into it full time. That's what I'm still doing now, even though I'm still a student. I'm a computer engineering student. So computer engineering and uh, farming, nice completion. <laughs> so um, we have been pushing since. Well, for me, I'm the kind of guy that I love to see my animals meet. I love to see my animals. No, it's not before you can take nonsense now. I love to see my animals, you know, carry, like, be pregnant, be pregnant, give birth. I watch them grow. I watch them meet. I watch them get pregnant again and multiply. Like, that cycle, I just love seeing it. And that is a cycle I cannot see in fishes. I cannot see that cycle in chickens. I cannot see that cycle in, uh, in grass cutters or all those, all, all those things. Pig. I can see when my pig are mating now. I can see when they're heavy on pregnancy. I can see when they are giving birth. The same thing with cattle, the same thing with goats. Especially that goat one. I love goats. I love goats a lot. Um, so that cycle is one thing that I love about the these three things I'm doing. Now in the future, I might decide to change my mind and get, get into poultry or fishery or those things. But for now, this is the things I'm doing. Only these three. And, uh, you know, by his grace, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a, a very fantastic job on my farm. Very fantastic job, even though I'm still a student. I'm doing a lot of fantastic job combining school and farming. It's a wonderful process. So, uh, we we'll see thank God, though. But this is one of the reasons why I'm not really a poetry guy. 
I'm not really a poultry guy. I love seeing my animals multiply. Not me going to the, uh, what they call it, the hatcheries to buy chicks, put them in my farm, fatten them up and, and sell. No, it's not, my, it's not my style. I love to see my animals grow, multiply in under my eyes. That kind of process. I love to see it. Now, the thing about cattle, people have been asking me about cattle too much. I saw the Efibo. The, the, the Hebrew, that's the Motru cattle. People call it Motru in, in, in the north. Cattle take long to multiply you. That's what you have to understand. Cattle, cattle take long to multiply. If you are getting to cattle farming to make money fast, I would advise you to come back home because that road is not going to work. Cattle farming takes longer to work. I always say people, if you are looking for a fast way to make money, go into poultry farming. Poultry is, will give you money faster. And there is market for it too. If you're looking for a way to make money fast, poultry, fishery, turkey, what else? Grass cutter. I think grass cutter is, grows fast within six months, it does my charge. So all those things. But if you're getting to goats, pigs, uh, cattle, these things take time for, for they can start giving you money. But if you're serious about it, then for sure you're going to make it in it. So cattle takes long to, to multiply. Cattle takes long to multiply. Uh, but mm, with time, within seven years, if you keep, if okay, let me assume you bought two, two cattle and they don't die, and you medicate them well and they're in good conditions, in seven years, so two cattle should have multiplied to at least, at least more than 10 cattle. And the more they born, the more their offspring will born too. So within seven years, two cattle must have multiplied to 12, 13, 15. Whereas goes, Two goats you bought in seven years, they must have multiplied to, <laughs> to almost 50. I think so. Whereas pigs, the thing about pigs is that they give birth in multitudes. But the problem is, can you house them? Can you feed them? Can you manage them? Because it can easily overwhelm you, especially if you're not the kind of farmer that there's always on ground. On ground. So that's it. So that's why I'm not really a poultry guy. I've answered people's question today. So that's it. Uh, I'm not making this video in the main farm because of the noise from the pigs. So that's why I'm here. Here is also a farm. Yeah, it's also a farm too. So um, that was it, uh, my people. See you guys in the next video. We do.